Today we're taking a look at the J Balvin Air Jordan 2. Hey look, it lights up. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. Welcome back to my channel Kicks on Kicks where I review sneakers and today we are taking a look at this. The Air Jordan 2 uh, by J Balvin. This is what Air Jordan 2 John, times J Balvin. Is that how we mark collaboration still? Anyway. This is J Balvin's Air Jordan 2, and it's dope. It is super, super dope, and I'm excited to talk to you about it. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'll give you a detailed look at this. We'll look in the packaging, and I'll give you some legit checking indicators in case you're trying to get the real thing on the open market. Good luck. Um, but yeah, so this shoe, before we get into it, I got to give a quick shout out to the seller that sent it over. Their information is all in the description down below. But this is the J Balvin Air Jordan 2. And just taking a look from the bottom up, we got to start with the outsole. Now, this is your standard Jordan 2 outsole. Nothing fancy, nothing really to see here. Got your Nike little puck in the middle. And then you got a similar traction pattern to the Jordan 1, but not as iconic. Certainly not as iconic. But anyway, what's great about this translucent blue outsole is that it also glows in the dark so i'll show a picture of that because it's actually a pretty bright glow which is dope moving on up to your midsole again super basic midsole for your air jordan 2 and this is all in white and now let's move on to the uppers where there's a lot to talk about honestly so on your uppers for one this shoe is made up of mostly new books so you've got this carolina or sky blue New Buck, obviously this this uh, shoe takes a lot of inspiration from the sky and just imagination and colors and dreamy vibes. This reminds me a lot of the album cover for Drake's um, Nothing Was the Same. That's the one with the floating head, right? Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah. So you got your sky pattern toward the heel um, with this translucent or really mostly transparent overlay. You got the J Balvin smiley face logo with the lightning bolts for eyes. You got these clouds, really cool sky vibes right here on the back. Um, and then moving up toward the ankle, you got your nice block text Nike there. Let's move over to the medial side where uh, this is a Jordan 2, which, by the way, like I feel like it's just a great canvas. Like There's not a lot you can do to mess up a Jordan 2. You can change the materials, change the colors, and... It's still going to look like a Jordan 2, and this is made to be, like, super premium. Like, Michael Jordan envisioned the Jordan 2 being a really high-end Italian leather, all this stuff. And so when you do these high-profile collaborations, you kind of want it to live up to the spirit of that, that luxury, that that just elegance. But anyway, but the defining feature on this one's got to be the ripstop material that this is made of. Also done up in the, this classic kind of sky blue color. Um, with the white sort of checkerboard patterns. Um, and then it's got this rainbow stitching. So this rip stop material, obviously you can't rip it, can't cut it or tear it, which is pretty cool. So we shouldn't see it fraying after any amount of time. This contrast stitching, on the other hand, maybe not so much, but this is rainbow contrast stitching, which I think is cool. Jay Balvin's thing is obviously the rainbow. And I think, um, the contrast stitching was a good way to incorporate the rainbow without just making the shoe way too busy and loud. So good job there. Moving on to the rest of your upper. Like I said, this is done in mostly new buck. And, you know, you got your same Air Jordan 2 perforations. And that's honestly the shoe. We're moving on up to the tongue. It's your standard uh, suede new buck tongue. But right here. The Air Jordan Wings logo actually lights up. Like, how cool is that? So uh, on my pair, on this pair, you actually get a couple of different light modes. So you got this solid green light. Then you got this flashing green light. And then you got this like super fast pulsating green light. Then you turn it off. Uh, now... Uh, we're going to get to legit checking points in a few minutes, but just a heads up, that's not how those lights are supposed to light up. So easy tell, easy tell there. 
Um, and that's pretty much the shoe. Uh, now we talked about the shoe. Let's take a look at the packaging real quick. And yeah, mine, these did not come double boxed. So my box came like trash, but this is the box. Um, it's like this sort of brain graphic with these lightning bolts. Very bright. I love the color on this. Um, but aside from that, you turn it to the side and it's kind of a, a take on your Air Jordan 2 box with that Wings logo. But the Wings are now the brain. And it says Air Jordan 2 Retro SP for Special Edition. Uh, Celestine Blue, White, and Multi. Of course, I got mine in a size 9 because I wear a size 9. Now you open up the box. You do get this nice little Air Jordan J Balvin logo. And there's supposed to be like some different color paper and stuff in here. Mine didn't come with that. So another legit checking point that you can look out for. But now talk about the packaging. Let's talk about some extras that come with this shoe. It's already unique because it does come with these uh, light up uh, tongues. But you also get some extra laces. So these come pre-laced with this white lace with the pink lace tips. But also you get blue laces with green lace tips. You get green laces with pink lace tips. So you get some extra laces there. I'm probably gonna keep the white ones in mind. I like that contrast. Um, another thing to note on your insole, you also get that cool J Balvin Air Jordan logo. And that's honestly the shoe. Um, I'm not gonna do an on feet this time around, I actually put these on feet and I found that they fit a little bit tight, but legit checking indicators. Um, there's actually quite a few with this shoe. This one's a little bit easy to tell from its retail counterpart. One, the color on this ripstop material is just not quite right. It's supposed to be a little bit more muted, but it's a little bit brighter than it should be. It's probably hard to tell from this angle because of the light, but there's just slight color variation that you can tell apart from a retail. But the biggest tell, the biggest tell, besides this light not pulsating in the right pattern, but um, this nubuck material, the nubuck on this upper is supposed to be a super soft nubuck. This doesn't feel like nubuck at all. It feels stiff, it feels plasticky, um, and it's just not, comfortable. When you think of a $300 Air Jordan shoe, you're thinking comfort. You're thinking premium materials. Uh, maybe not comfort, but certainly premium materials. And the premium materials lend themselves to being comfortable. This is like a super stiff, not new buck. And because it's so stiff, it's kind of uncomfortable. And I noticed that there's not a lot of flex. There's not a lot of give. And so this shoe actually fit me kind of small. I found, um, I'm just gonna put it back on cause it's been like a week since I tried this on. So let's see. Yeah, no, this shoe is definitely small. Um, this fits me a lot more like an eight and a half than a nine. And it's honestly not gonna be a comfortable wear um, in this size. So I, did, I went true to size. I'd probably recommend you go a half size up if the sizing is consistent, because these do say they're a size nine. So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm team go half size up if you're trying to get these, but man, yeah, this is not gonna be a comfortable wear. So that's unfortunate, but I mean, overall for the looks, a good looking shoe. And now that I've warned you, you can go ahead and go up a half size. What do I think about these? I think they're kind of loud. The the lights, I'm never going to use the light up feature. Um, and I mean, the Carolina blue, I love Carolina blue. You can see I've got a whole UNC wall behind me. I'm wearing a North Carolina Tar Heel shirt. And I mean, I guess you could kind of pull this off as a Carolina based shoe. But this shoe has nothing to do with uh, the University of North Carolina. Um, but it's a cool thing to look at. The $300 price tag. It's kind of crazy to me. I, I don't know that I'd pay $300 even for the real version of this shoe, unless it was just to flex on strangers on the internet. And who's doing that? So those are my thoughts on the shoe. I got to give this uh, between the comfort, the overall look, the price, six out of 10. It's a nice execution. It's great to look at, 
but the form factor, the functionality is just not quite there. But that's the shoe. And um, again, I'm not going to do an on feet. So thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in another review very soon. Peace.